Due to popular demand, we are back with Toby at Crawley Parkour. Toby's going to take me from one day of parkour to the best. So what we're doing first, Toby, the skill you've probably ended up by chance practicing the most is the cat pass. Let's see how we're doing with that then. Yeah, the hands on, knees through the middle. It's uh, straight into the warm-up, let's put it that way. Go over that one first, just so I don't freaking clip myself and land head first on the first try. Let me just do a couple of that. Straight into the warm-up. <laughs> so good! <laughs> yeah. That was decent. A few goes, but we're, that was good. Okay, You're in. Yeah, next yeah. thing, next, next one. So what are we doing now, Toby? Now I think we'll go back to like a standing precision jump. Make sure you can put your feet where you actually want to put them and then we'll stick it on the end of the cat pass. It's going to be huge. Those guys are speedable, for sure. I reckon we're ready to combine the two. Yeah, it's, it's pre actual precision. So this is the cat pass precision. A um, fairly like fundamental move. Like anything in parkour, you can kind of take it to whatever limit. Bolt the box and land on the tire. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, you got that all day long. Look at that tech, man. A bit more power. Nice. Yes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> outrageous. We're going to recap on what I think was the most straightforward skill from the last session, the climb up. You don't have a lot of right angle edges in climbing really, do you? Yeah, it's kind of a bit slow if you'll be coming out. Exactly. Yeah. Mantling down like this. And usually in uh, climbing, if it is a square cut edge, we usually just put our foot on the wall and then go like that. Yeah. So it's like that. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And then what? <laughs> Not bad. Not the best. Not no. the best. <laughs> you must be pushing way more off your foot. I think that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Yes, mate. That's it. That's it. Nice, man. I mean, it's. Mate, that is. Well, good. That is better. I do remember this from last time feeling quite tricky. I'm using a lot of strength here on the top. Whereas when I watch Toby, for example, I think he's getting way more out of his legs than I am. Which. As a climber, I feel like I should be good at smearing on a wall, but I don't think I'm doing it as well as Toby. <laughs> should we do an arm jump into that then? Yeah. Jump, grab the edge, and then climb up. Parkour style. Decent run, nice. Yeah, the, the art, the, yeah. You did that fine. Too, yeah, no, it's, it's not too easy, bad. wasn't it? Yeah, not too bad. It's weird. Sometimes in parkour, like we'll literally jump into a 180. Like we'll jump onto a wall to do a 180 because it primes you. you. Can kind of recoil out of the impact of the actual arm jump. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have a go at doing landing that high foot, and as you bounce on the tension, is to actually pull straight through into the arm, into the climb up. <laughs> Getting the mats out for this one. I remember setting the rail pre for Pete and Chesterfield. It wasn't a big jump for you, I'm seeing to remember. No, it was probably like that for that, wouldn't it? It'd be cool to stick this one. Just throw something off the end, that would be cool, but we'll wait to, uh, to uh, tease that one. <laughs> but I'm going to get the mats out because... Do you reckon you can on site it, Toby? Is it on site -able? On site. Yeah, I've heard in some of your videos, I've heard a bit of like on-site flash from some of the other guys. I think they know like some of the terminology and the rest is just a joke when they're saying it. Oh my shots, Craig. At some, <laughs> at some random point in the new video. We got a lucky stick day on the hand. Precious mats. Yes, yeah, close. That was good. When you do it, and I noticed this in Chessfield as well, you like, Go and you're really low, like absorbing everything. On his feet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I reckon we land that one straight into another one and try and stick the next one. What do you reckon? Yeah? That's spicy, that. Nice. 
And all this fun could be available to you at Crawley Park Hall. <laughs> yeah, it's not very far that, so I think we can give it a go. We'll, okay. put, we'll put a front flip at the end of the line. How about that? Should we do that? Are you saying that the viewers should stick around to watch Pete try and do a front flip? Definitely. <laughs> I, I can't wait, so you lot Stay definitely down. keep watching. <laughs> I didn't quite stick that one, but... <laughs> you were ready to just vault off, I reckon. What would be cool is to do that, that, front flip. You, you, have you ever gone over your head? Into a swimming pool. <laughs> so pro probably not for 15 years, maybe? Nice. Yeah. All right, go over to the bouncy floor, I reckon. It's very bouncy. It's very bouncy. It's front flip time. You don't even need to do parkour to know what a front flip is. Everyone knows what a front flip is. Most people watching probably tried a front flip. I bet he lands my feet, not like that. Did you see what Tom did? Did Tom do a flip? Yeah, in the 100k video. Did he? It was one of the challenges, was to do a flip. So he was like, no. yeah, I can definitely do a flip. And then he started getting like some pads out of, you know, the outdoor training area at his house. And I was like, I thought you said you could do a flip. And he was like, uh, it's a little bit more of a how hard can it be? And then he got on his bench. <laughs> so when I asked you earlier, can you do a flip? And you said, yeah, sort of. We gave him the point. Yeah. No one said do a good flip. No, that's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you one bang this. Whoosh. Right, I'm just... So it's like that. <laughs> Pretty much. Would you, you, you try on the arms, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. 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 I always start. Hands on knees. Imagine Justin Bieber's coming onto your headset, fucking throw him away. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how I cure it. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to land that at all! <laughs> yes, that was quite weird, actually. <laughs> that was it? Yeah. Just. Yeah, chuck, there we go. Chucked the headphones off, landed the front flip, mate. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was good. That was good. I don't think, if I, I think if I did that again now, I probably wouldn't land on my feet. It's like oh, one of those where it's just like a bit of a fluke. Let's yeah. do some more. In slow mo. <laughs> In slow mo. <laughs> Yes! Frail plyo to front flip. Day two of parkour, really. What's going on, Pete? So, the next plan is the rail jumps into the front flip that I just did. What I should probably do is practice the front flip off the box to start with. Not bad. <laughs> Can you imagine if the maths weren't there? Best not to think about. <laughs> Ice. Attacking the box really well. <laughs> think, think of it that. Bit of that. He landed super toesy on that, which is fine, but I think it jarred, jarred a bit for the next section. But yeah. look at that. Rail close, front flip. Close. Yeah, I was on my feet. I'm just really down. Oh. <laughs> Literally just like jumped off it, you know? You're not going to get much better than that. Yeah. <laughs> I think... Not sure about that. You're not going to get much better than that. Or no one could do better than that. Because one of them's mean and one of them's a lie. It's not consistent enough, I don't no. think, to take the mats away. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the only thing. What's next, Toby? I reckon we get onto 180s. There's an alley I want to take Pete to tomorrow that is just packed with them, basically. I think there are boulders out there that could be linked with 180s. Yes, Pete. Yeah. That's, 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 that was spot on, man. Yeah. That was spot yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try the running version and then we'll level it up. Sick. Yeah. That was good, man. That yeah. was good. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Do you want to combine the two really fast? Nice. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Different technique here, but I was, I was just, I was thinking I was high with both. Really smooth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're high with both feet, but the size clearly just. That's a sign that it's no problem for you, the size. Yeah, it's the size, yeah. Because you can yeah. just totally compromise the technique and still make it fine. I think you can go there, there, but without grabbing it. Without grabbing it. Then there. That's called a splat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking joke. I don't know why I'm surprised at this point. 
At each stage, I'm equally surprised, but it's like, it just means you're not going hard enough. That's what, that's all it means, really, isn't it? 180 arm jump down. It's too easy. We need we need bigger walls now. Try it the other way. Goes up. It's harder. <laughs> right on the edge there. Just think you could do that into a crack. But well, that's what we should try. The place tomorrow has some 180s into some jams. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're training, and we can give it a go on the real thing. Crack is quite a crack. This is a collision of two worlds happening right now, like on a very physical level. Yeah. I, I was I was saying before you got here, I want one of these now. I'm buying one. Toby's already sort of been bringing crack to the parkour world. Seeing a wide boys crack volume installed in a local parkour gym, that is truly sealed it, I think. <laughs> uh, so as you might realize, it's a little bit noisy in here. The rain, the heavens have opened. Okay, so now we've got the crack set up. We're gonna go for a crack parkour move. Two worlds colliding here. It's crack and parkour, Pete and Toby. And we're gonna go crack, splat, crack. Do it. Move not yet been done. Hey, what are you putting on there? Wide boys gloves. We've got them in stock. As the session went on, we were running out of time at Crawley Parkour. Drew had a session starting in about five minutes and it looked like the world's first crack to splat to crack wasn't gonna happen. But then Toby thought of a new world's first idea the cat pass to hand jam, a true meeting of parkour and crack climbing. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next two videos in the series where we take crack to the streets and I get very scared as Toby starts to really level things up on day three.